What's up, everybody? This is Rudy Banks, your host of the Entrepreneur Journey, bringing you another valuable episode. Hope you guys are doing well. It's a beautiful day here in upstate New York. Finally, some nice weather. Hope you can see the sun coming through the window there. Today, guys, I got a video I'm going to do on landing pages. Um, those of you who are doing affiliate marketing and CPA marketing, I know I've seen something in the comments before about how to do landing pages using WordPress. Now, you know, a lot of stuff I've done in the past has been on Wix. You know, we talked about Weebly. Um, I talked, showed you how to do Google Sites. I showed you how to do a website called Fast Pages. So this one in particular. <laughs> Okay guys, let's just jump right into this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do a landing page in WordPress. Again, I've showed you how to do it on other platforms and um, this is actually a real web page that I'm working on for a client. This is the actual website itself, uh, Simply Green Organics, it's the CBD e-commerce project. What we're working on right now, we're currently working on some ad campaigns, uh, working through the hoops of Facebook and Bing and different things like that. So, you know, I use Bing a lot for a lot of my CPA marketing for my paid traffic. I find it very easy to get set up and it's less hoops to jump through and less roadblocks. So what I want to do is you just can't, you know, you know, put a product link right on Bing and certain sites due to the nature of the product. So you have to create a landing page. So this is no different than having to create a landing page for Craigslist or, you know, if you're trying to do content locking and you want to do, you know, some customization. So you need your own landing page. So I'm going to take you over to the landing page. So basically this is what I created. And this is basically, uh, we're going to uh, market one of the products specifically um, the dog chews um, is hemp so if you if you like dog products and you know you need um, products that are you know healthy for your pet then um, this is definitely um, something good for anxiety and you know, dogs that are uh, older heard a lot of great reviews about the product so in doing the research as I built this out so basically what you're looking at um, you know, basically, um, I built this using Elementor. So this is a builder within WordPress. So no longer do you have to know HTML inside and out like you used to. Um, you use the Elementor. There's bakery and visual um, designer and all those different things, but this is what I use to create this. So let me show you on the back end. So when you first thing you're gonna do in WordPress, you're gonna go to Pages. Once you're, you're logged into WordPress, uh, you go to pages and then do add new or, you know, all your pages do add new. And so I'm currently in this particular page right here. As you can see, it's blank. Um, and if you have Yoast set up, that's your SEO stuff. That's where you can put all your SEO optimization stuff. What you want to do first is you want to go over here to the template and you want to hit um, Elementor Canvas. Now, Back in the day, you has you just have to install a plugin called Blank Slate, and so as you can see, Blank Slate is in here. This is not default part of WordPress, and what this allows you to do is before Elementor came along, Blank Slate. I actually installed it. I didn't realize that Elementor had it till I went through some tutorials. But basically, Blank Slate gives you just a blank page, so you can do whatever you want. The idea is, I mean, if you look at this page, it's got a header. You know, it's got all these images and blog and um, WooCommerce um, for the shopping cart. I don't want to interfere with any of that. And so, as you can see, this is a totally different design. It doesn't um, conflict with the original site. So you can brand it however you want. You don't have any issues. Now, I showed you this as well in Wix. I mean, there's a way to create a new page and just turn off the header and footer. And then you have a blank page. So it's a little bit simpler in Wix, I think. But anyway, if you go into WordPress, now all you do is select Elementor Canvas and it gives you a blank slate. All right, so now what I want to do, as long as I make sure my page is set up that way, then I'm going to go into edit with Elementor. And there you have it. So what I have here, 
you basically think of it before like we talked about before you got different sections so you got a section here this is a whole new section and you can see you got you can make changes so there's a you can add a section if I hit the plus it's going to add a new section in between um, you know, here's a row column you know image like this is sort of like the team section and I'm going to show you a way to really create this even faster um, some cool things that um, have I really enjoy that I like about some of the editors now is is um, like stuff like this back in the day you had to have you know a background image this is not a background image this is just a CSS um, cascaded style sheet setting and I'm gonna show you that as well so let's let me show you that I think that's pretty cool they give it a really professional look um, let's see if I do edit section and I go up to style and let's see it's under color no shape divider all right so this is called a shape divider so that means if I got a section here and I got another section I can change that I'm actually using the bottom part of it let's see so the bottom part is set to mountains if I change that to something else you see that so you can give it a nice a nice look to it it gives an artistic look looks professional you know, it's like not something just thrown together. Um, so that's how I did that. Now that's the bottom part. Say I wanted to change the top part. So I would say, I can go up here to do mountains. Now I got some look like that. But I just turned that part off. But that's the anatomy of that. And um, the only other thing you have to know is I got two buttons on here. So I got one here. So basically a person will be driven here from an ad. And then so I'll have a button here. So all I have to do then is um put my affiliate link. So if you have your landing page to your affiliate product, whether you're using ClickBank, Max Bounty, you know, CPA grip, whatever you're sending the, that person to, whatever offer you're sending to, that's where you're gonna put your link. So I will go up, um, click on this, I'm in edit button, content, go down to link, paste my link in there. I can do some edits if I wanted to open up in a new window. Since this is all part of the site, I'll just you know send it right to the site. Um, you got your add no follow type stuff. If you don't want this link being um, indexed by the search engines, you can um, do an add no follow. Um, the button itself, you can add icons. So that's how I got the shopping cart icon on there. Uh, it's really cool. Um, again, here's another um, section. And I did, um, you know, image divider there. Just did a gradient, so a different color to give it a little bit of flow. And that's basically the anatomy of it. I added a new section here, and then I put in my, you know, my text for my um, my footer. Basically, privacy. You always have to always have to have a privacy policy in terms and conditions if you do landing pages. A lot of offers want you to do that. And then this last section here, I have another section, and you know, I got an image, product image, and then I have another button. And as you can see, I, I played around with um, another section divider. And that's basically the anatomy of my landing page using WordPress. Now, what I want to do now, I'm just going to just show you how to uh, to um, get one set up really, really quick. And don't forget to publish and save your settings or you're going to be <laughs> probably disappointed after you put all your work in. So a cool thing about Elementor is it has templates and it's going to save you a lot of time. So what I want to do, I'm going to create, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to create a new one, a new page just for testing purposes. All right, so we'll call this um, demo YouTube. All right, so remember we're gonna go over to template. We're gonna do Elementor Canvas. Gives us a blank page to start with. 
And then uh, I'm going to save that draft. Make sure the page is saved first. All right, then I'm going to do edit with Elementor. Now, what you can do is Elementor is free to use and you can upgrade and get premium features. But this is what you're going to start with. You're going to start with a very <laughs> blank page. And this is where you can go in, you know, add a section. It could be a full, a full width. I can go in and then I can add my content. And you now if I hit the plus sign, then I can add content within that. I'm just going to show you some basics real quick. I'm going to drag some text in there. I got text and so forth. So let, let's just delete all of that. Here's the cool thing. You can actually build this page out from a template. So what you do is go over here instead of hitting the plus sign to add a new section. These are all the things you can add. What you want to do is hit the folder option. Now you have templates you can use. Now you'll see some of them say pro. Um, that's if you're going to pay. But there's some free templates. And actually, when I created this, I said, man, I don't have a lot of time. So the, the landing page that you saw previously actually um, started with a template and then I customize it. So let's try that. So all I have to do is type in, um, just type in land, landing. And then here are your options for landing pages. You got tourism, you got a, a landing page there. Let's just, let's grab this one. So you got a nice, nice clean landing page. And then we're going to do insert and it's automatically going to do this for you. Okay. So now the landing page um, template has already been loaded and so much that saved you so much time. So everything's already in nice color. You can go in here and change your logo. So for example, so if I were going to, I'm just going to grab a random ClickBank product. All right. So this is some kind of battery reconditioning product. So uh, I would just do promote and I will grab get that copy my hop link for the sake of time. You guys already know how to do, you know, go to your affiliate pages and get you know, all your content. So here you could, you could erase that. If I don't want that, I could, I could get rid of that. I could um, right click on it, hit delete. So now that's gone could delete this and get rid of all of that stuff. So if it was a, a landing page or a lead generation page, you're collecting leads and stuff. You can have a phone number there. Um, colors. Go to the section. I showed you how to do your colors. So here's your styles. You see this uh, curve here. Oh, that's the gradient. If I want to change uh, shape divider. So it's got a curve on it. If I want something different, see how you can do that. Top. So yeah, make it your own. You don't like that image there. You can go in there and change that. Choose a, choose a different image. I won't go through all of that, but here's your button. There's your link right there. Paste that link. Bam. And I can, I can just work, work my way through this. And um, it's pretty, pretty easy to set up. Now, one thing I would say to so the very bottom of your screen, you got your settings and you got the responsive mode. So you can actually click on this and view it, preview it and what it's going to look like in mobile. So now you can make sure everything is going to look presentable in the mobile format. Cause nothing like having a bunch of animations and videos and then you get ready to do a mobile. Cause most of your traffic, it's going to be a people on mobile devices, you know, pull up your website. So you definitely want to make sure it looks good and clean on a mobile website. You can change that to a tablet. So very clean, very neat. So you, you could easily put together your own landing page within 30 minutes to an hour. Um, the more you get efficient at it, proficient, the faster you can go. After a while, you'll have your own template that you want to use, your own style, and then it's just a matter of changing the colors. 
once that's done you hit publish at the bottom um, you'll have your link and then you can go ahead and start driving traffic um, to your landing page just make sure your buttons your buttons do work go back to max bounty clickbank and different places click on your link make sure you know you're tracking you're getting credit for a click and that way you know everything is linked properly the page opens up and then it's all about um, scale and optimizing now I'm not going to talk about it in this training but the other thing I highly recommend is using um, some sort of link tracking I use click magic I'll put a link below to a guide that will help you set up click magic the click magic is a tool that I use so when I am paying for traffic I know exactly which keywords led to what click and I know what click led to what sale and then once I know that then I can scale up it's very important that you track 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 if you don't measure it you can't improve and that's the bottom line especially when you're putting your time your energy or your money into advertising you have to track it right, so if you need more assistance more details I just wanted to give you a quick overview on how to do a landing page in WordPress because everybody's pushing click funnels you know actually um, downloaded thrive themes it's a whole build on builder on top of uh, WordPress we call it the click funnels killer but ideally you can get by with um, just having a WordPress website and having Elementor. Elementor is free um, you can see there's free templates and then if you wanted to do the paid and get some of the pro templates but for landing pages I don't think you need it so thanks for watching like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in another episode peace <laughs>